To understand the pathway in which sperm are released, let's take a look at some of the male key reproductive organs. Here are the testes, urethra, vas deferens, prostate gland, seminal vesicle, and penis. The testes are actually made up of coiled structures called seminiferous tubules, which are the sites of sperm production. The structure on top of the seminiferous tubules is the epididymis. The sperm migrate there to mature and then are stored there afterwards. First, the penis fills with blood and becomes erect. Then, with sufficient stimulation, an ejaculatory process begins. Here, you can see the mature sperm traveling from the epididymis through the vas deferens, a muscular tube which propels sperm forward through smooth muscle contractions. The sperm arrive first at the ampulla, where secretions from the seminal vesicle are added. From the ampulla, seminal fluid is propelled forward through the ejaculatory ducts toward the urethra, passing first by the prostate gland, where a milky fluid is added to form semen. Finally, the semen is ejected out, or ejaculated, through the far end of the urethra.